Yeah, my name is CK. Chris is the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, good. <laughs> you know, what I mean? there's too many quick Chris's in the world. I'm too original for that. Right. And that's why like my, um, I named my son, my son's 12 now, but, but we named him Christian and I'm like, dude, just make sure no one calls you Chris. And so for the last 12 years, you know, so far, no one's called him Chris because I don't really like Chris, like, right. So, but so his name's Christian. And so, yeah, dude, sometimes like short names or nicknames or names that you don't even like, it's like shit, man. Right. Yeah, totally. Is, you know, I um I compose reggae music and sing reggae music. No way, dude. Are you serious? I sent, I, yeah, I sent you a song actually. It's a link there. Um, but I'm oh. like, so my name on stage is CK, you know what I mean? It's been like that for years. And then I've just been writing with it and now I use it in business. Because wow. it's so easy to understand you're not gonna hear another CK. You're gonna hear Thousand Christians, but if you hear CK, you're gonna know exactly what you're talking about. Heck yeah, dude. That's you know? really, really cool really cool man i love music man i love music i love reggae music like i grew up on all that shit man are you are you from hawaii no bro i'm from um, i mean well i'm not from i'm i I was born here in san diego my whole life but my mom is from guam Uh, so i I am islander yeah for sure my mom's from guam and my dad's from mexico okay so i'm just i'm like literally 50 50 but i got that islander blood more than anything in me you know yeah just yeah 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 Yeah, i'm from hawaii and i saw mahalo i was like oh snap dude and you know and, that, and that's why you know what's so funny is that yesterday i was recording it and then and then you dropped off and i was still recording it and i'm like dude let me just turn this into something and so i ended up on the video i kept it recording and i ended up just showing people how i share a sequence so that whole walkthrough of me getting the sequence out of my out of my account and then creating the share code and then emailing it to you i was recording all that and then i i was even telling the people i'm like i know he's from hawaii so let me let me put a keyword that he's gonna really appreciate. Oh, yeah dude well, yeah. you're gonna see that video come i think it released like in a few days but but yeah i'm, I'm actually recording that part when i'm typing it in and i'm even googling it because i'm like shit how do i spell it again because i I, I know that word because not only you know that word but also aloha because when I was a loan originator because I did mortgages like you too and I and and I did it for for six years I was, I was an, an LO licensed for the state of California and licensed for Washington state of Washington nice. but our branch we had you know we had freaking a million licenses for every damn state and we would do a lot of business bro a lot of business in Hawaii so when I would speak to clients I'd have a ton of clients in Hawaii refinancing their loans and um and i try to you know somewhat talk it you know i would always say mahalo and i would always say right 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 right. you know so because we were we were were, you know california you know pacific time but we were we were like my my office like my best friend to this day he he owns the actual company like they crush it to this day um but he but but we 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 had the whole mindset of crushing the phones and he's a lead guy and and an online marketer so we would have like literally bro like like i would literally dial anywhere from 700 to 800 numbers a day and so when we get into the office let no no, actually not in the morning but but the the grinders the ones that get into the office early right like i would always get in the office early i'd crush everybody in that damn office and we killed it Mm -hmm. but i would also stay late and so staying late gave us the ability to call hawaii because they were three hours behind yeah exactly so i'd be in the office at 9 p.m and it's only exactly. six o'clock over there you know remember lowermybills.com oh yeah bro for sure so we're basically turning into lower my bills with this you know what i'm saying dude it's freaking awesome bro awesome yeah it's awesome sick. i love it so this is the last segment um i'm really excited to launch tomorrow um like i said i'm only all i'm doing is scheduling callbacks for no cost, no obligation estimates. Um, um, it's an air purifier, thirteen hundred dollar value that they receive. They receive a coupon, their first email opt in, and then with any new AC or furnace installation, they get this air purifier. Um, and then I go on about financing because it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So anyway, that's that's what I'm doing here. And so on the sequence, the email sequence. Really, what I'm looking for is either they schedule an appointment. And then the sequence deceased or, or stops after they schedule a callback, or they don't, and then they receive emails going through. Okay. So, so I don't have pull any it up. Pull it up. I don't have any this and that. Pretty much once they schedule a callback, done. Okay. Perfect. So yeah. then 
let's look at everything. Let's look at the um, the pages. Let's yeah, let's look at the communications for sure. And then I'm also not gonna just... switch the name just yet. Okay. Uh, I'll switch it when when we're done here. Yes. Because if it doesn't make sense to do it, then I'm a, I have another one that I pre did, but this will give me an idea. Of... Yes, exactly. That's what I wanted you to do. Is is look at this real quick, just as a as a template. Okay. So the way I have it set up in here is this is based on this is based on a tag and this is this tag is based on if the person watched the video okay. so it could be the same thing on scheduling a call it could be the same thing same same exact concept um can we switch that tag right now yeah for sure dude we're gonna we're gonna do everything right now okay okay so this right here is 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 what it's all about so for example the starting rules would be the tag do they have this tag so let's let's go to um let's go to yeah let's edit now it could be based on a tag or it could be based on an opt-in form now should i switch the opt-in form to mine you can but that's the starting rule so is it is it based on whoever fills out this form or is it, it based on whoever schedules the call it's uh oh yeah you're right so right? it's actually whoever scheduled the call yeah, so let's go with tag. Let's go with tag. And and actually, you know what? Go back to opt in form and, and X that one out. Let's let's um get rid of the lead. Yeah, yeah, let's get rid of that one. And then put in tag and then category, hit the drop down. And then I don't know if you put it, did you put it in, in one of these categories? Um, I think it was the only opt in form that I had was email opt in only, um, but that's not correct so I'd, I'd have to bring in a oh no this this cat yeah go with that category and then and okay. then hit the select tag to the right hit that drop down and if you don't see one there this cr will create one let's create one so scheduled appointments is that the one uh i don't think i did it correct no you did it's there that's the tag okay, okay. so let's base everything around that tag scheduled appointments got it so go ahead and just put add yeah let's hit add Okay. Okay. So then now let's hit save. Um, so that's the starting rule. This. No, I can't, dude. Go. Now, you know what? Here's, here's the deal. Yeah. You, we have, we have two sides of the email sequence, right? So mm -hmm. either they, either they scheduled an appointment or they didn't. Right. Is yeah. that how you have your set up? Um, the, the very first opt-in is me collecting her email. Yeah. So the very first page, like how you had it um, on, on uh, the Facebook advertising for the female um, obtaining leads is the first form is an email opt-in, mm -hmm. name, email, and you get a coupon sent to you. And then after they hit learn more, they immediately go to the page where they can schedule a callback. But okay. a lot, some people, they, they put in your email, but they don't end up calling them because of the callback. So the email that they get is, here's the coupon for your free air purifier. If you haven't scheduled a callback already, please do. Okay. So then hit that red tab to the left right there. Let's, let's minimize that one real quick and then scroll down. Right here? Yeah. Just minimize it. Yeah, there you go. And so let's, let's scroll down. So then in, in your, in, and we'll look at your sequence as well, but, it, but is, it, is it set up this way where there's a, there, because the way I have it set up here in this one is it's based on, it's based on the opt-in form. So the starting rule is everyone who fills out the opt-in form. And then the split is who has the tag. Did they schedule the appointment or did they or not? They did not. That's, that's exactly what this is. Right. And so exactly. if they did not, they go to the false side. Yep. If they do, then they go to the true side. Yep. Okay. So then let's go back up real quick. Let's base it on the form. The starting rule is the opt-in form. And then, and then the split is going to be the tag. Do they have that tag or do they not? That's going to determine what side they go to, left or right. Okay. Get it? So let's, so, let's, let's, yeah, let's go back to that one. So anyone who fills out that form, that's the starting rule. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, let's go with that. That is form. the starting rule. Yeah, that's the starting rule. And then yeah. let's get, let's hit add and then let's get rid of the tag. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And then save. Yeah, so we're good. Okay, so that's the starting rule. That's the starting rule. And then let's go to the split. And we're gonna simply just take out, hit the three dots. And and this this so the split, so they, they opt in right now, right? 
we can set this split up to check if they have the tag in an hour, in two hours, in a day. So hit the delay. If you want to change that one hour to the right, you could change that one hour. But I think in your case, one hour is fine. So in one yeah. hour, it's going to check if that person an hour ago scheduled or they didn't. Great. Right? So let's put the conditions. Let's put the conditions, okay. edit that one, and that condition is going to be um, the scheduled appointments. So let's go to the – so so lead hashtag. We're going to go to – we're going to go to hashtag – it might be up right here is registered no. and active to the calendar. No, let's not base it on that. We're, we're going to base everything on tags. Got it. So hashtag right there. Hashtag. Yeah. And then hit that. Yeah. Hit the drop down, and then let's go to the category, which is the had an appointment campaign or is it the email yeah. opt-in only? I think it's the had an appointments campaign, right? Yeah. yeah Cause one does it, it goes after the, the first one. The only okay. the first one was the email opt-in. Okay. And then the tag is the appointments. Yeah. So boom, that right there is, is going to, that's our split. So now what we're going to do is hit edit. Okay. And then um, you'll hit close. And then now all you got to do is just model the true and false side. So for example, hit the three dots on the true side, that first email. Attached right is your coupon. Yeah, hit that one. Okay. So right here, the recipient. So the split is do they have the tag or do they not? And then the recipients, did you oh I think you I think you I think you changed that part. The recipients right here? there. Yep. It was um shit, what was it before? It was um if anything I, I could put up mine. Okay. I think let me let me share my screen real quick. Okay. Because I got to remember what that. Um, yeah, I don't believe I put anything in. I think you. I think you might have changed, edited, edited it, but it's all good. I can, I can, I can show you right here. Hashtag cold beverage, Northern California. Yeah. So my communications, and then let's go to my sequence real quick. And this is this is a sequence that I'm actually rolling out on the first as well. So. This is um, this is powerful, man. This is super powerful. So, dude, this is like the dopest thing I've ever seen in my life. If right? you're into marketing or creating anything, like, ugh. right? Because if oh it's not this, God. dude, we got to juggle multiple services. You know, that's why I'm I'm uh, I literally built my whole YouTube channel around this shit. Because I'm like, dude, anyone trying to build a damn online business, you're gonna need five different softwares, five monthly fees, and that shit's expensive. Right. This one damn dude, thing was, does it all, and that's that's all we need. Right. So, so there's my starting rule. There's my split and my split is based on the tag. So in my yep. case, it's, do they have the tag, which is, I think finished web class. Yeah. Watch. Yeah. Finished web class. So that's my tag. So okay. based on that, that's going to determine, you know, what side they go to. So over here, this is what I wanted you to, to, to change on your end was mm -hmm. the, the simple um, recipient. So look at my recipient, the recipients, even though we determined it on the split, we told, we told the split, hey, if they have it, true side, or if they don't have it, false side. But over here on the recipient, I still have to put that right here. So, so the true side is does not have tag course. So meaning they didn't buy the course yet. They haven't bought the course yet. That's going to yep. make sure that they get this email. So right here, your tag is going to be um, – um, um, does not, not have tag scheduled email or scheduled callback. Does not have – exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so then yeah. you just simply open up each one and, and, and just simply edit that, that one part. And then as it scrolls down and let's say, for example, they do schedule a call then as the next, as, cause I have mine spread out one day as that next one comes out the next day, if that recipient, if that tag isn't there, then they won't receive the next email. Cool. Right. Cause yeah, once, once they schedule a call, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So then, and then, so if, as I take the person down the automation, let's open up this, this is telling the system, Hey, if they still don't have that tag, subscribe them to a different list. Okay. Because now I want, I want to know who hasn't scheduled a call. 
And as they go through my email sequence, if they finish every email and they still haven't scheduled, I need them on a separate list so I can then eventually email them again in the future. Got it. Right? So this is the automation. If the lead reaches this step, then subscribe them to this list. Finished web class, but didn't buy. Okay. Okay. So you'll create another list. You don't got to create another sequence just yet, but you could just create another list mm -hmm. and, and call it maybe opt-ins who never scheduled call. Okay. I believe I have it. Okay. Perfect. And then on the false side, so the split, if they, if they, if they don't match that tag, then they go to the false side. And in my case, I'm talking about a webinar. Hey, CK, I noticed you registered for the webinar, but you haven't watched it right? That's that whole email. And then the recipient is, does not have tag course students. So that means that they haven't bought. They haven't bought. They, they haven't bought. Um, actually, you know what? No, I take that back. It's anyone who reaches this step because it now, now I'm still, now I'm basing it. I'm basing everything on the fact that they don't have that tag. So I didn't even have to put a tag in. I just put anyone who reaches this step. And then the automation, the automation is going to check if they have that tag. So if I open up the automation, we'll see the tag right here. So a day later, this automation is going to take into effect. And the recipient, let's let this thing load real quick. This is the automation. So if they reach this step and they finish the web class, meaning they actually schedule an appointment, they actually watch the damn thing, right? In your case, it's they actually schedule the appointment. So if they have that tag, then move them to step two. Step two is now on this other side. So, so, so in your case, because they're going to go to this side if they actually scheduled. Yeah. So, if, yeah, yeah. So then if they actually, yeah, yeah. So then if they go to the false side and, and, they, and, they, and, they, and they match, they actually scheduled an appointment. So let's say on the first email, they actually scheduled an appointment, right? When it comes down a day later to the automation, it's going to send them over here. This over here is where you're emailing the coupon. So you can change the one day to one hour mm -hmm. and say, okay, if they got this email, and they schedule an appointment an hour later, that automation is going to check and then send them the actual coupon because they actually scheduled an appointment. Okay. So it's going to send them straight to step two. And then again, if they still haven't scheduled an appointment, this one right here, anyone receiving it, and then the automation is going to take effect again. So it's after every other email, that automation is going to actually check if they have the tag scheduled appointment. If they don't, then leave them in that false site. If they do, send them to the top of true, which is step two. So if I open up this, there it is there. Lead reaches this step and they have the tag scheduled appointment, then move them to step two. Now, once they schedule an appointment, they don't really need to go to the true side. It, it just stops from there. Okay, then, then it could stop. It could stop. Cool. And, and, and what you can do in the automations, I'm glad you, I'm glad you mentioned that. Let's... Um, Let's open up this. So in your case, what you can do is you can, you can, you can change this or just simply edit this automation and yours is going to look like this. Lead reaches this step and has scheduled appointment. Then schedule them. I mean, then subscribe them to this list. Yeah. Right? So yeah. now we yeah. want to set, we want to put them on a whole different list and subscribe them to that scheduled appointment list. So if I hit edit, this move lead to, it's down here. So I can X that out and then just put up here at the top, lead reaches this step. They have the tag schedule appointment, then subscribe them to another list. Cool, dude. Get okay, that part? good. Yep, got it. So um, so that's that's the sequence. That's the sequence. And you can always delete okay. these. So you can is, always add right. more. So it, 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 this is making so much more sense, dude. Like this is the hardest part I think for myself was. Bro, reach out. Like, I got you, man. I got you. Go ahead and share your screen here. Yeah. You cannot share a screen while other participants are sharing. My bad. Go ahead. Yeah. Bro, you could pass as my cousin, dude. You're my Ooh, cousin. Handsome, huh? handsome yeah, guy, bro. huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> 
So, all right, so let's let's go to the automation really quickly here. The first one. Do you want to look at your other one that you had set up? Or no, do you want to just go off of this one? Honestly, honestly, this is allowing me to understand because if it's already if it's already done, yeah. then I don't need to you know, mine is mine looks like the remember the sequence I sent to you yesterday here? Yeah. So what mine looks like is yours is more basic than even that one that I sent you. That that one like yours is more basic. This right here. So that if you yeah. ignore that, yeah. it's this right here. Mm -hmm. Watch video, watch and schedule. Stop. Did not watch, but did not schedule mm -hmm. next video. So I have these splits right here. Like yeah. That. Yeah. Perfect, man. So all that is yeah. based on a tag, and that's and, what I and figured. the automations. That, that's exactly what I figured. So I was like, I'm just going to see what he has to say about it. Um, and then kind of go from there. You know, it's important for me to understand what I'm doing. Yes, dude. You know what I'm saying? So yes. lead reaches this step. Add. Damn, I already forgot what the hell mine looked like. Um, then it goes to... Um, did you already edit the emails? Did you already put your text in the damn email? Yeah. Okay, shit. Because I was going to just say, let me just send you the damn sequence again. It was. Because <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Uh, do, let me. This step, and then it was freaking. Let me. Um, yeah, this is. We've, we've been, we've both been too damn Irie. Let me. Um, Dude, it's let me. Days, bro. It's 35 days learning this thing. And I mean, it's like a college course. I'm going to be recording this meeting. Okay, let me. Um, okay, here we go. Perfect. Okay, so let me, let me look at my sequence real quick. Okay. Let me go back to it. it, it are you doing it on your end or? Yeah, I'm doing it on my okay. end. That because you could still because you're still sharing your screen. Mm. Let me just. Um, so we're on the true side email number one, right? We are on the false side email. Oh, the false side email. Okay. Automation right now. Let me um, let me look at at that. And I'm pretty sure it is anyone reaching this step. Um, so the false side. Did you change that? Yeah, we changed the split tag, right? So the false that first email, the recipient, is um, anyone reaching this step? Yeah. Perfect. So that right there. Okay. Let me just get into that. Okay. Anyone reaching the step? Boom. Perfect. Perfect. We're good. Okay. And then also, 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 you know what I would also do? Here's what you haven't done. You haven't, um, you haven't changed your gateway. You haven't changed that email. Oh, actually, you know what? My bad. That is your damn email. I'm thinking that's yeah. a car tree email. My bad. Okay, cool. Yeah. You're good. You're good with that then. So obviously the, the, the title, Hey John, what happened? You know, unless you want that title, but you can always, you know, make sure you change that, but let's yeah, I'll switch that up. We'll focus on the recipients. So yeah, that yeah. one's good then. That one's good. So then go down to, let's exit out of that one. So go to the very top and then let's just close that. And then um, scroll down to the automations. Now, again, you can either choose it one day or, or based on, you know, shit, what you're trying to do, maybe, maybe an hour later. You know, one day is cool. Okay. One day is cool. Okay, good. Yeah. So then this automation, let me pull back up mine. This automation is going to be. Um, 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 um. Okay. So. Okay. So lead reaches this step and has tag scheduled appointments so let's let's do that so so lead lead reaches this step so scroll up yeah lead reaches this step and hit the hit the select hit that drop down and has tag and lead has tag right yes and they have scheduled appointments okay perfect add then 
But see, and so we don't need to move them to the true side after this, right? So if they have, oh, we're, we're perfect, all done. we're done. Okay, then hit the select, subscribe them. Bam. Bam, right there. And then, and then also in the automations, which we'll, we'll, we'll get there after we finish this part, but what we're going to also do is we're going to, we're going to set up another automation. We're going to set up another, and just, it's just to back ourselves up. It's just to back ourselves up. I don't think we, I don't think we actually, technically, I don't think we need to, but it's just to back ourselves up. So for example, Damn. sick. lead reaches this step. Hold on real quick. Let, let me walk you through this part. And it's just to back ourselves up. Lead reaches this step and they have that tag, subscribe them to that list. Okay. But what I also want to back myself up on is we'll set up a, a separate automation where right. we'll, we'll set it up where if they, if for anyone who subscribes to that list, unsubscribe them from the sequence. Okay. Does that makes so sense do that right now. We'll do it. We'll do it after we'll do it after because we have okay. to get out of this part. Close. But you know what? Let's see if you can set it up right here. Let's see if you can set it up right here, which, I, which, which you, you might be able to. But there's another part where I normally do the automations, not just right here. And I was going to show you that back end part. Actually, you, yeah, you can. So then leave that part there. Go to the bottom. Okay. Then, and then we got the and. Unsubscribe then, them to the sequence. Unsubscribe them from the sequence. Bam. Bam. Sucker, what you? Whoa! Woo! Game time, bro. Cool. And then all sequences. Um, right? Oh, no, yeah, we'll just yeah, do that. Yeah, you can, or, or this I specific one. Thing. That's cool. All right. Perfect. And then edit. So, so remember how this is set up, because we're going to set up all the automations on the false side under, under that, which are only a few more automations. I think there's like two more automations. Yeah. So... What I'm going to do, what I'll do on my end, or, or you can do it on your end, but I got my phone right here. It's no big deal. I'll just take a picture of this. Let me take a picture of, of, of this automation. Bam. Okay, cool. Nice. So we'll close this one out. And then let's it just is, go. This, this, this program is like the sickest thing for any loan officer ever. Really? Bro, I swear to God, this is like a loan officer's dream. And I haven't seen, I have an idea of, I've had this idea for like 12 years now. And finally I'm like, oh, it can happen. And no, no, like, dude, it's crazy. Bro, another, another side hustle for you could be setting, setting up a sales funnel and setting up this email sequence and all the automations, packaging the damn thing up and selling it to LOs. That, dude, that's my next step. That's my, I, I put it all together the other night. I couldn't sleep. I was like, da, 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 da. here we go. Yeah, dude. Like that's Blair. the thing about all these share codes. Like you can package it all up and sell it, you know? Um, and, and that's, and, and, and so what I do rather than, I mean, it's, it's obviously a slower income, but, but what I was shooting for it, this is just like a little side hustle for me anyways, the whole, yeah. the, the whole referring of Kartra and being an affiliate, but, but um, I could easily package up my shit and sell it. But my whole thing is, is just, that's why I emailed you the sequence because I, what I try to do is I try to get people on my damn on it. And, and as long as I can help you succeed with it, chances are you'll stay with it. And then I'm yep. just kind of, I'm trying to bank on the monthly residual. You know what I mean? But I could easily charge people freaking, awesome. you know, all kinds of shit. Bro, straight up. Okay. So I forgot it about it already. Okay. Uh, let me, let me pull it up. Step. Okay. So lead reaches this step and has tag so select no up oh yeah yeah and. so and is already there so select drop okay. down right there and lead has tag up okay okay lead has tag and then they're gonna have the tag um the scheduled appointments wait, wait, wait. yeah okay okay perfect and then, and then down, we'll put then subscribe, subscribe to list. And that list is the, um, 
Yeah, the list, the scheduled callback. And we're going to hit add. Actually, um, okay, and then we're going to add one more down then. And select unsubscribe from sequence. Bam. There it is there. Cool. Now let's do these automations and then and then we also gotta gotta make sure that the recipients on the emails on the false site are 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 correct. So hit close, we're good with that. Yep. And then let's go to the next automation down there, that one right there, and let's do the same thing. Okay, so lead reaches this step. And then has tag. And has tag. And it's sucker. Lead reaches this step. And has tag, yep. Um, add, no wait. <laughs> wait, oh. Okay, cool. Then subscribe to list. Okay, this is really, really making sense right now. Hell yeah, dude. Hit add. Finally. And one more, the unsubscribe. Yep. So down? No? No? Down? There you go. Unsubscribe from sequence. Bam. All right, automations are complete. Cool, so hit edit, close that son of a gun out. And then, was that the last one? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Cool. Okay, cool, so we're good with that. So scroll, yeah, close that out <clears throat> and then just scroll down. Is that um, one more? Yeah, there's one more, yeah. Okay. And so in these, in these emails, you know, that's where your link goes for the calendar, obviously, you know, so, um, and these emails, so instead of the link to the calendar, I have a, a schedule, uh, schedule callback button. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So lead has tag. Yeah. And then I have like scheduled date appointment too. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I just got cards to get dates, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. You can sell that knowledge too, man. Dude. Package that up and sell it. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many leads I got, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. One more and then here. So and then to list and, uh, and, unsubscribe and unsubscribe yeah from sequence okay Shabam, boy actually wait i don't think it i don't think it went through okay sorry guys let's I'm um trying to do some automation yeah let's go back to it edit it again yeah so subscribe to the list and and then hit the select and then unsubscribe from sequence. Bam. Perfect, add. Okay, cool. So all you lead generators out there, this is the video to watch, boy. Yes, man. Yes. Okay. Okay, so now now let's go back up to the top of the false site and, and let's just let's just make sure let's click on the, the dots for the emails and let's just make sure that those emails 
are, 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 are proper. So the first one, what happened? Yeah, open up that one real quick. And what did we put there? I think we, the recipients, let me check mine again. Anyone reaching the step. Okay, perfect. And then let me check my um, email number two. Uh, get out of this. No, you could stay there. Yeah, actually, yeah, you can get out of there. So go ahead and open up the, the second email. So you got that first email, then below it's automation, and then open up the, the next yeah. one. So the next one is also the recipients, anyone reaching this step. Mm -hmm. And then I'm pretty sure all of them, all the, all the rest are as well. So let me open up the third one. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, yeah, the third my... one, anyone, anyone reaching this step. Yeah, they're all, they're all anyone reaching this step. Okay. Because everything, and the reason for it is because everything is based on the automation. The automation is checking for everything. Got it. Perfect. Okay. All right. Okay, so then, so then now, so the true side then, so the true side hit the three dots and let's look at the recipients on the true side. Let me open up mine again. Okay. So mine was, was who, who, who does not have the purchase tag. So in your case is going to be, is going to be lead does not have scheduled appointment tag. Okay. That's going to be your, your recipient. So lead. let me, what's that? Lee does not have schedule appointment tag. Yeah. So if you hit the three dots and then you go to um, recipients. And we're then, here now. Okay. Let me, and, and then, so that, that, that recipient on my end does not have tag. So you're going to put does not have. Yeah. So let's hit the recipient. It has none. So let's change that to does not have tag. So I'll hit the select and then lead. Yeah, scroll down. Does not, have, not tag. have tag. Okay, boom. And then, yeah, and then the appointment one. This one, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bam. Bam, boy. And so that just goes on. And then also, you know, obviously freaking test run the bitch, you know, like really yeah, put your yeah. damn email in there and, and, and what I always do too, do you have a Gmail email or yeah. you have, a, you have your, your company one, right? I have it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You have a Gmail as well though. Mm -hmm. Test it, test it with the Gmail. Um, because sometimes when you put the same email into the system multiple times, sometimes it's spam. Like, yeah. Yeah. Right. So, so you want to test a different email, but with your Gmail, like for example, if it's CK at gmail.com, the way you're going to put it into the opt-in form is ck the plus sign and then you could put any word so ck okay. plus test at gmail now after this i don't even need all these right here right you don't huh you don't because oh no. because I'm it's like, really just i'm done perfect so delete that shit so hit so the second one delete i'm telling you dude all you lead generators out here boy right we got this campaign 25 dollars <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll send Hell you the code yeah. today. Hell code yeah. <laughs> the opt in. I'll send you the coupon right now, boy. You got, you got $25? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Perfect. And then we'll get rid of the emails, but the actual complete, we'll, we'll leave that one and we'll just exactly. drag that one out. Exactly. Up. Exactly. Okay, great. You know, I, I tell you, because because a lot of Kartra is surrounded by purchase now, upsell, selling actual physical products. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Physical and digital. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but with me, and and I'm sure a lot of people out there, to generate just appointments, bro. Or yeah. Leads, oh, this is this is the type of funnel that you're looking for. You it's, know what I'm so saying? it's appointments and digital products. That's what this is really for. Physical products is more like Shopify and Amazon for digital products and for appointments. That's where right. culture shines. Dude. 
So anything digital, if I want to sell you a digital book, if I want to sell you my digital services, if I want to sell you my service, I can run all that through Kartra. So I know, man. It's, it's, uh, it's the most powerful thing I've ever, I've ever seen in my life, honestly. And, and once you learn it, it's pretty damn basic too, man. Like it's not yeah. as crazy, you know, technical. It is, it is like a college course though. Every, every single thing to learn here, you know, I have to learn like lighting of green screen and then editing yeah. videos yeah. and then oh, going yeah. into parts of, it's like putting a pizza together, you know right? what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. Okay. I don't know why. Okay. Anyway, I don't know why. Uh, there it is. Should I just go like that? And yeah. You could it? drag it down. Yeah. Drag it down. And then, and then we can um, hit that damn button at the top. Okay, so okay, connected there, and then hit that hit that button at the top. That um, to right very here? top, no, very very top, top 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 in the black, all the way to, all the way to the top, right there to the right. Oh. That one, hit that one. Okay, that arranges everything. So now scroll up, you'll see it right there. Bam! Dude, there it is. There it is. Hell yeah, dude! David, so you are the man, bro. Hey, bro, you're the man. I'm the man who knows the man, and you're the man. So hit me up anytime, bro. Is, is that test your automations, obviously. And then, and then let me know if, if, if you need anything else on the, on the pages, what's your, are you going to be running traffic or you gonna be trying to run Facebook ads or what? Yeah, I'm running okay. traffic. I launched tomorrow. I'm launching uh, 17 different cities. Um, I'm only putting five bucks in per city for the week. Perfect. I'm promoting to people that are 50 year old plus homeowners. Do, do you know, do you know which ad to run? Do you know which which campaign to set up? Yes. Mm -hmm. Conversions. I, I got that all set up. Yep. And and you and, and you set up a custom conversion around the thank you page. Yep. And then I I've had my friends the last two days <clears throat> go through it with me and do it and it works like a charm, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Keep me posted on that, man. Keep me posted on that. I will. So I'm Keep gonna run posted. it for a week. We're testing it for the week um today is wednesday I'll, I'll call you next wednesday or we can schedule something like this hell yeah dude. and then or next thursday because it'll be a full week and then we can because that way it'll make me like really freaking do it and not be super scared because this is scary you know what i mean it's like making a new boat I'm like oh my god i hope this thing freaking floats yeah it does float and, and remember it's all as long as the back end is is covered which is the email sequences the landing page our facebook pixel is on every page our custom conversion is set up around the around the, the confirmation or the thank you page. As long as that part's all set up, then it just comes down to the front end. It comes down to these ads, and and you're, it's not that you it's not that you can you. There's really no such thing as actually no. There is a such thing as running the wrong ad. So for example, if you're trying to capture leads and you're running a video view ad, you're not going to capture leads. If you're trying to capture leads and you're running an engagement Facebook ad, you're not going to capture leads. So there is, there is a, 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 a such thing as running the wrong Facebook ad, but once you have the right Facebook ad, which is conversions, yeah, that's all you need to know. As long as you run the conversions ad and, 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 and you're running it to a good audience, then, then all it comes down to is your, is your content. As long as you're putting out multiple ads, multiple variations, multiple images or multiple videos, that that's yeah. where you're going to win. A lot of people, they try to run one damn ad, and, and they bank everything on this one damn ad. It's like, dude, it doesn't work that way. Like we got to put out a shitload and, and you start small, like, right? Start small. But, but yeah. if, if we're running, let's just say a, a total, let's just, let's, let's call it 50 bucks a day or 25 bucks a day. Like you want to be at at least, at least 20 bucks a day to start. But with the 20 bucks a day, you're running four different ads, yeah. right? Just like you, you already know. So, mm -hmm. so that's what it's all about is, is the different ads, the content pieces. Sometimes this image might attract more people versus that image. Sometimes this video might be better than the other video, right? So right. as long as you're testing that end of it all, which is the top of the funnel, the damn ad, all this back end shit, bro, will take, take care of its own. You got to just yeah. pull the funnel. I have, I have four different videos that I made. Awesome, man. Um, pretty much the same information, but each video sparks on something else. Um, this one sparks on financing. This one sparks on the home home purification system. Awesome. This one awesome. sparks on my my service is free. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then I, I mimicked it literally exactly how, uh, you know, the Facebook uh, the, the one that you did with the the female real estate agent. Um, oh yeah. Like bam, she killed it right here with this yeah, video yeah. on the thank you page. Mm -hmm. I literally mimicked it to exactly how you did that. Dude. Amazing. Watching dude. that video made me go, oh shit, cars is what I need. Awesome, bro. Awesome. Um, how do I turn, how do I turn my monthly 
subscription over to you. It, it ain't going to happen, bro. Hit done and exit. Make sure you say yeah. this shit. Hit done and exit. Okay. But yeah, it all, it all I, I tried, I tried, you know, really just being that part of my pitch in the very beginning. Hey guys, and this is all through YouTube. Hey guys, click on my damn link. As long as you go through me, I'll give you my time. Right. And so right. sometimes people didn't go through me and that's when I'm like, shit, you know what? As long as I can record it and put it on my damn YouTube channel, that's cool too. Right. Dude, so bro. I don't even care, bro. If you, if you clicked on my link, as long as I can, you know, obviously maximize and monetize this damn video by just simply putting it on YouTube. That's kind of all I care about. So I'll give you my time anytime. We'll record the damn video. We'll put it up and freaking create something out of it. Dude, all right, bro. I owe you one. Thank you so much. I you owe me a blunt. It. You guys have fun. Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. All right, brother. All right, Stay, all right, keep me posted. My God man. bless. You too.